Hello and thank you for joining us. In this video, we will be covering a few example questions from the NADCA ASCS Air Systems Cleaning Specialist Exam, and then we will go over the correct answers and provide explanations. Shall we take a look at the initial question? Which of the following is not a component of a typical HVAC system? Thermostat, air filter, refrigerant, humidifier. Please pause and reflect on the answer before we disclose it. The appropriate answer is refrigerant. Let's now analyze why this is the right answer. The correct answer is refrigerant. Refrigerant is not a component of a typical HVAC system. It is a substance used in the system to absorb and release heat to cool and heat the air. Components of a typical HVAC system include a thermostat, which controls the temperature settings, an air filter that removes particles from the air, and a humidifier that adds moisture to the air. These components work together to regulate the temperature, humidity levels, and air quality within a building. While refrigerant is necessary for the cooling and heating process, it is not considered a primary component of the system itself. All right, here comes the next question. Which of the following steps is not typically involved in the air duct cleaning process? A. Inspection of the ductwork. B. Removing and cleaning of the registers and grills. C. Applying a chemical spray to sanitize the ducts. D. Replacing the air filters. The right answer is D. Replacing the air filters. Let's now examine why this is the right answer. In the air duct cleaning process, replacing the air filters is not typically involved. Air filters are typically replaced as a routine maintenance task separate from air duct cleaning. The main steps involved in air duct cleaning include inspecting the ductwork for any issues, removing and cleaning registers and grills, and applying a chemical spray to sanitize the ducts. These steps help improve indoor air quality by removing dust, debris, and contaminants from the duct system. It is important to follow a thorough cleaning process to ensure that the ductwork is clean and free of any buildup that could potentially impact the air quality in the home or building. All right, moving on to the next question. What safety precautions should an ASCS follow during cleaning? Wearing proper personal protective equipment, PPE. Ensuring proper ventilation in the work area. Having a fire extinguisher nearby. All of the above. The accurate response is wearing proper personal protective equipment, PPE. Let's now investigate why this answer is the right one. It is essential to protect the ASCS from inhaling dust or debris and to prevent skin irritation or injuries. Proper ventilation in the work area is necessary to ensure that any airborne particles or contaminants are removed from the area, reducing the risk of respiratory issues. Having a fire extinguisher nearby is important in case of a fire emergency during cleaning. Therefore, all of these safety precautions should be followed by an ASCS to maintain a safe working environment and minimize potential risks or hazards. All right, moving on to the next question. Which of the following health benefits are associated with clean air ducts? Reduced allergens in the air. Improved respiratory health. Decreased risk of mold and mildew growth. Enhanced energy efficiency. Pause and reflect on the answer before we disclose it. The accurate response is improved respiratory health. Let us now examine why this is the right answer. Clean air ducts can lead to improved respiratory health by providing a cleaner and healthier environment to breathe. When air ducts are clean, they reduce the amount of allergens such as dust, pollen, and pet dander circulating in the air. This can help individuals with allergies or asthma experience fewer symptoms and breathe easier. Additionally, clean air ducts decrease the risk of mold and mildew growth, which can release harmful spores into the air and exacerbate respiratory issues. By ensuring that air ducts are free of contaminants, 
individuals can enjoy better indoor air quality and maintain healthier lungs. Ultimately, improved respiratory health is a significant health benefit associated with having clean air ducts in residential or commercial spaces. All right, moving on to the next question. Which of the following tools is commonly used in air duct cleaning? Vacuum cleaners, rotary brushes, chemical biocides, thermal foggers. The accurate response is rotary brushes. Let's now determine why this answer is correct. Rotary brushes are commonly used in air duct cleaning to effectively remove dirt, dust, and debris from the ductwork. These brushes are attached to a rotating device that helps dislodge buildup from the walls of the ducts, allowing for more thorough cleaning. The bristles on the brush can reach into the nooks and crannies of the ducts, ensuring that contaminants are effectively removed. Rotary brushes are a versatile and efficient tool for cleaning both residential and commercial air duct systems, making them a popular choice among air systems cleaning specialists. By using rotary brushes in conjunction with other tools and equipment, such as vacuum cleaners, technicians can provide a comprehensive cleaning service that improves indoor air quality and HVAC system efficiency. All right, moving on to the next question. Which of the following pollutants is commonly found in indoor air and is known to cause respiratory issues? Carbon monoxide, volatile organic compounds, nitrogen dioxide, mold spores. Pause and reflect on the answer before we disclose it. The right answer is mold spores. Now, let's determine why this is the right answer. Mold spores are commonly found in indoor air and are known to cause respiratory issues. When mold spores are inhaled, they can trigger allergic reactions, asthma attacks, and other respiratory problems. Mold growth is often found in areas with high humidity levels, such as bathrooms, basements, and kitchens. It is important for ASCS professionals to understand the impact of mold spores on indoor air quality and to be able to identify and effectively mitigate mold growth in order to improve the overall health and safety of building occupants. Mold remediation may involve cleaning, removal, and prevention strategies to address the source of the mold and prevent its recurrence. Understanding the presence of mold spores as a common indoor air pollutant is essential for ASCS professionals to properly assess and address air quality concerns in residential and commercial buildings. Sure, the next question is presented here. What organization sets the regulations and standards for air duct cleaning in the United States? National Air Duct Cleaners Association, NADCA, Environmental Protection Agency, EPA. American Society of Heating, Refrigerating, and Air Conditioning Engineers, ASHRAE. The accurate response is National Air Duct Cleaners Association, NADCA. Let's now determine the reasons behind why this answer is correct. The correct organization that sets regulations and standards for air duct cleaning in the United States is the National Air Duct Cleaners Association, NADCA. NADCA establishes industry best practices to ensure the safety and effectiveness of air duct cleaning services. By following NADCA guidelines, professionals in the air systems cleaning industry can maintain high standards in the cleaning process, equipment, and customer service. Homeowners and businesses can trust NADCA certified technicians to provide quality air duct cleaning services that meet rigorous industry standards. Following NADCA regulations helps ensure that air duct cleaning is done safely and effectively, promoting better indoor air quality and overall system performance. All right, moving on to the next question. Which of the following is not a recommended strategy for improving customer relations in marketing? Engaging customers on social media platforms. Implementing a customer loyalty program. Ignoring customer feedback and complaints. Providing excellent customer service. Pause and consider the answer before we provide it. The answer that is right is ignoring customer feedback and complaints. Let's now determine why this answer is correct. 
ignoring customer feedback and complaints is not a recommended strategy for improving customer relations in marketing. Customers value when their opinions are acknowledged and addressed, so ignoring their feedback can lead to dissatisfaction and a negative perception of the company. By actively listening to feedback and addressing any complaints, companies can show that they value their customers' opinions and are committed to providing a positive experience. This can help build trust and loyalty with customers, ultimately leading to improved customer relations and potentially increased business. Therefore, it is crucial for businesses to prioritize addressing customer feedback and complaints as part of their marketing and customer relations strategies. All right, here comes the next question. What factors should be taken into consideration when estimating and pricing jobs as an ASCS? Size of the HVAC system, extent of contamination, accessibility of the system, time of day job is performed. Please pause and consider your response before we disclose it. The accurate response is extent of contamination. Let's now examine why this is the right answer. When estimating and pricing jobs as an ASCS, the most important factor to consider is the extent of contamination present in the HVAC system. Contamination levels will impact the amount of time, labor, and resources required to properly clean the system, ultimately affecting the overall cost of the job. Higher levels of contamination may necessitate more thorough cleaning methods and additional equipment, leading to a higher price for the service. It is essential for ASCS professionals to assess and accurately determine the extent of contamination in order to provide a fair and accurate estimate to the customer. By carefully evaluating this factor, ASCS technicians can ensure that they are pricing their services appropriately while maintaining high standards of quality and efficiency in their work. All right, moving on to the next question. Which of the following is a best practice for maintaining clean air systems? Changing air filters regularly. Cleaning ductwork periodically. Sealing air leaks in the system. Using scented candles to improve air quality. The right answer is changing air filters regularly. Now, let's examine why this answer is correct is a best practice for maintaining clean air systems. Regularly changing air filters helps to prevent the buildup of dirt, dust, and other contaminants that can circulate through the air system. This not only improves indoor air quality, but also helps the system operate more efficiently by reducing strain on the components. Additionally, clean air filters can help prolong the lifespan of the system and reduce the risk of breakdowns or malfunctions. It is recommended to follow the manufacturer's guidelines for how often to change air filters based on the type of system and level of usage. By regularly changing air filters, you can ensure that your air system continues to provide clean, healthy air for your indoor environment. 